Hello everyone, welcome back to our USA regional series. Uh, uh, we're going to be doing the Southwest today. And I think this is video number four. And uh, even though it, even though there are only four states in this region, there's a lot of land and a lot of things to go over today. So let's take a look at the map. And uh, I think I'll start off with the map key for us today. And we'll, we'll discuss the map key. We haven't really done that with the other maps. So. Um, First of all, we have, it says the state name, which is a good place to start when you're, when you're going to start on a state. And um, I think we could probably start with, let's, let's do Texas. Um, it's a very big state. Um, we've got plenty of room to label. But now we want to use our neatest lettering and also capital letters, uppercase. And usually it's nice to kind of center it rather than putting it um, kind of along the edge. So let's kind of center it. The letters don't have to be huge. But you can space them out a little bit if you'd like. Notice how slow I'm printing the letters. You, you really want to take your time and make it as neat as possible. Try to make it nice and level too, straight, a, straight across like that, rather than on an angle. Okay, so uh, we also have the uh, state capital. Now, let me find a red. I like to use red for the state capital, so I'm going to color that star in red. Once again, let's focus on Texas, and we'll label the state capital. Maybe I'll put it right, ab right above the star like this. Capital of Texas is Austin. Now you can put that, you could put that word above, to the right, below, or to the left of the star, depending on how much space you have. Okay, all right, let's look at the next symbol in the key. It's uh, a city, uh, you know, a city that may not be the capital, but um, I thought we could, we haven't done this on any of the other regions, but I thought Texas was such a big state, we could put in some of the other major cities, and um, I've kind of pinpointed three other, other cities. Let me put the, and you can kind of, if you want to add cities, you can, Put the approximate location of the city. You can look in your atlas or on your wall map. Okay, these three cities are pretty big cities in Texas. And we're going to start off with Dallas. Okay, so here's an example of adding a... You could do that with any of the states. Okay. Um, over here we have the city of Houston. I could, it wouldn't fit to the right. Maybe I'll start a little bit above and to the left. Okay, and this one right here is San Antonio. So there's an example of the cities. Um, we don't, I don't think I'm going to put any lakes on this map, but we've put a lot of lakes on the other. The Midwest had all the Great Lakes, and, you know, you could probably find some lakes to add to this map too, but um, I would use a, a blue for the lake symbol, as well as the river symbol. So the next two symbols have to do with water. Of course, that also includes the ocean, too. And we do have ocean on this map. We've got a uh, coastline along Texas, and uh, we have the Gulf of Mexico. So um, on 
like on previous maps, you can put a nice little edging of blue right along that coastline. I won't do it all right now, but in a minute I'll show you the finished version showing that coastline. Okay, um, we do have a river that I'd like to get on, a very important river, which is the Rio Grande. And it, um, the mouth of the river empties into the Gulf of Mexico. So, and it, luckily it follows the border between Texas and Mexico. So I'm gonna take my blue and just trace it back toward its source. Just follow that boundary line. Well, you can see I've already labeled Mexico just south of that boundary line. Now, at a certain point, it's, it leaves the boundary line and it goes right up through New Mexico. I've traced it on there, right, right up to Santa Fe. And it, it begins, uh, I believe it begins in the mountains of Colorado. Well, I won't, I'll kind of stop it right there. Also added a few of the Rocky Mountains in on this map too. You can see they kind of they actually extend a little bit into this portion of Texas right here, a little bit right in there. They might even go a little further south too. You can uh, research that, and they go right up into uh, right through New Mexico, running in a big range going all the way up to Canada actually. Let's put a few in there. And just like on the other maps, uh, green and brown are good for the mountain symbols. I'll color a couple of them right now. I won't do them all right now, but. So uh, we can actually do that in the key too. Let's finish off our key down here. All right. um, another uh, kind of fun thing to do on the map, we haven't done it on any of the previous maps, but you can see that Going, um, going uh, kind of bordering these regions are states next door to these states. And you can actually identify them if you'd like. This would be Utah right here, just above Arizona. And then just above New Mexico is Colorado, C-O. Just above, this is gonna be Oklahoma. Just above Can uh, Oklahoma is Kansas. And you can put some more states along the edge over here, too. Okay. And uh, that kind of, that even gives a little bit more information to your region. Now, um, so I think we've covered quite a bit. Let's take a look at what the map would look like uh, when you're pretty much done with it. Okay. So um, I've completed the mountain symbols. And uh, I put that color along the inside edge of each state to make each state stand out. We have Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, 
in Texas. Uh, if you remember, we put those three cities in, in, in addition to Austin. Okay, and um, we put our state capitals in. I put a little bit of green along the Mexico boundary line too, to just to show that that's land. And then I finished off the coastline with the blue. Okay, so we've got a nice, we've got that edging of blue, and then we've got a lot of land to the south. Our neighbor to the south is Mexico. Okay, well that covers a lot for for that region, and uh, I think that uh, that'll keep you busy for a little while. And uh, I think that the last region we're going to talk about is the West. So we'll do that in the next video. Thank you.